That's a Sri Lankan team led by Dasun Shanaka. Be on offer. Some very good cricket on offer. Here is Kalimullah. The first ball. A young Pathum to face. Puts back to ball. First runs on the bat. Nisanka opens his account and will retain strike two. Two of the over, two Panolas after one. Patum's face eight so far, yes. Oh, that'll give him a lot of confidence. That's it with some power. The ball will die in pace. Won't reach the fence, but a lot of running to do. That was teasing, you know. It was almost uh, hesitating to go to the boundary. Chandimal up against an extra pace of Fayaz, but what's it going to be? There was a sound and goes the finger. Chandimal has a very, very short stay. Great start for Oman. Absolutely. Just get a feeling that Chandimal would be telling himself in the dressing room, could I have spent a little bit more time for offering the bat? The bowler wins. Fayaz Bhatt was initially absorbed in the appeal and he gets another. This time it's the left-hander Kamindu. Clue of the edge. Fayaz will not get there. First boundary for Avishka Fernando. That's only got height, no distance. Will be taken. The third wicket that Oman was searching for has come by. No wicketkeeper wants actually the runs to go in his or her name. Now this time again more runs coming in. The ball is trickling, teasing and then reaching the fence. That's a boundary. After a long, long time. You know, I haven't seen a boundary for a, for a long time. So, Drop down the order. He's an opener usually. That's in the air. Could be trouble. Yes, it is trouble. Another wicket gone for Sri Lanka. Kavarali introduced. Kavarali picks up a wicket. Major part of the world. Meanwhile, this time played up Ashley and will get in the fence. That's a boundary. Giving a charge there, Sanaka. Beautiful shot there. On the full and maximum. The umpire is now getting some exercise. Six runs added to the tally. The decibel levels go up in the ground as well. Stylish stroke. Pull this length back. There's a single there. He throws at the wicket keeper's end. I think that was on the wrong end. I think that was on the wrong end. He should have thrown it at the non striker's end. He's gone for the big shot. First ball and clears the fence with ease. Yes, the trend of going for the first ball. Big hit continues. That was a, a delivery that was asking, that was begging to be hit. A fuller delivery. Enough time for the batsman to plan his shot and that's what he does. Bang! Slotted. Excellent time. Just 43 deliveries. That's going only one way. Over the fence. 50 comes up in style for Ravishka Fernando. What an innings when it mattered the most. The scoreboard read a miserable story when he walked in. He ensured he changes that. Brilliant shot. Top shot. This is a shot which is worth going miles to see. Swept beautifully for a six. And uh, clearly the momentum slowly but surely is shifting Sri Lanka's way. Are we still on for 160? On Oman. Courtesy shots of this kind. Kavarelli will have too much to do if he has to get there in time. Boundary. It sets the tone nicely. What do you think this delivery is going to be? It's, it's also set the battle up nicely. This could be trouble now. It's trouble for the fielder in the deep because now Sandeep God hasn't been his best on the field today. It's the second time. Not only dropped a catch but uh, gave away six for that. It's going to pinch him a lot. Ah! Fernando thought, yes, that's it. I didn't get the elevation. T20 World Cup, that's around the corner. Well, that's another easy shot that he's just smashed away for six. There's a sense of ease when this batsman bats. Trust me, cricket is not that easy. Batting lesser. On the leg side, flicked it beautifully for a six. What a shot. Oh, he's been taking the pace off that one. 
put down by Kashya Prajapati. Kalimullah is screaming. Catching hasn't been the best suit for Roman today. First Jatinder, now Kashya Prajapati. Usually safe hands today, all buttered up. I would like to seriously recommend that please stop a reverse cup. It's just not working. Kalimullah was pleading. Kalimullah is taking the pace off. He's not the Kalimullah that streams in. Uh, this could be another opportunity. Now we'll land safely. Directed and now will they go for a single? He was telling me that it's about backing your strengths no matter what you play. And my strength was a slower delivery. I knew I was not going to clock 140. It's one thing to slow down the game as a captain. It's quite another to slow the game down through deliveries like these. In this over, most of the balls were slower deliveries after the first one disappeared for a six. Shanaka launches a missile. And that will sail over in no time. The assault has begun. What a beautiful shot. Once again, magnificent. Right out of the park. And much to the delight of the... Papa Ray will burst into action if one of those is followed up by a big shot again. That's taken the shoulder. But he's also travelling. Six it is. Two sixes back to back. Extremely happy for him that he has been able to build his innings beautifully. And follows up with another six. Yes, it is. 22 of this over. The spaces look wider when he pierces the gap like that. No fielder moved. The slow ball, Yorker, which has been picked up and posted over long on. Magical hit. As good as it gets. As good as it gets. You know, 152. Beautifully executed six. Fayaz's answer to the previous shot would be another slower delivery, which has been hit even further. Six more. Raining, raining, raining. You know, we had a cyclone a couple of days back. Now we have the success cyclone. Yeah, the Shanaka storm has come to Oman. We're talking about Fernando reaching three figures. No, Shanaka is looking for a 50 around the corner. It is. Two sixes back to back, almost camping on the back. Playing shots at the right time, rebuild the innings. And finishing it off beautifully. Just the last ball coming up. Are we going to see another 6 and a 50? Slight change in field then. Fine leg comes in, becomes short fine leg. Is the flick on then? He's gone with a straight bat and he's gone for a very safe area. We'll finish with the boundary. We'll finish with his hand lifted up, his bat lifted up for a 50. Fantastic finish for Sri Lanka as they reach 162 and are requesting Oman to... To score 163 if you want to be pronounced winners. This has been one of the best knocks from both the batsmen who finished it off for Sri Lanka. Take a ball, Shanaka. What a shot. What a way to finish the innings. 162. That's the tall, tall order given the fact that where they were at the end of the fifth over or even after the 10. Of an innings to build up, to stabilize and then in the last five they went all hammer and tongs. Joining me in the commentary box is Suhas. Suhas, good evening. There was something, there was something on the bat as it went into the keeper's gloves and thudded. And that's enough to send the first batsman back to the pavilion. Wickets column ticks, runs doesn't for Roman. Kasha Prajapati will have to take that long walk back. He swayed back, wanted to play it over the wicket keeper's head. Driven like, like an arrow. Such is his precision of going straight down the ground. Four collected. I'm glad that the umpire moved out of the way. Or else you would have found Rahul Usher and the ball outside the boundary line. Yes. The celebrations are on. The batsman can still stand his ground. No, now he cannot. Up goes the finger. 
subdued celebrations in. Akebili is just trudging back. Almost like an action replay of sorts of the previous shot that he tried to play. A simple catch. In the no man's land, Zishan Maksud knows that he's probably got a boundary. No. That will have to be watched again. Three runs picked up so far. Zishan Maksud was searching for the ball on the leg side. He knew something made contact with Willow. Where it went, nobody knew. Now there, top edge. He's getting those edges. Zishan. A couple of runs for him. Yes, Zishan's bat at the moment is shoulder, edge, toe. There's no middle. He's still searching for the middle. He is pointing at the hammies. The hammies have done him in. Ouch. Not a pretty sight, I tell you. Not a pretty sight at all. And those muscles, they take a long time to get back to normal. And that's it. That is it. The big man goes. Chatinder Singh will have to take that long walk back. His favorite shot has uh, been the cause of his undoing. He's been trying to play that shot time and again, time and again, unsuccessfully. And this time, the shot says enough. I'm not going to be played now. That's in the gap. See, Sean says the scoreboard might read a different story if it's in the slot. I will go for it. The ball dies in pace despite the dive. Well, that will be looked at again. Was he in contact when he did dive? The intention was brilliant. Was the execution the same? Called for. It was a good shot. The outfield. They gave him Alamarath in to do so. And he's already picked up a wicket. Zishan's not in control. This could be catching practice. Yes, it is. Oman have lost their skipper. For a paltry nine. And this doesn't all go well for the scorecard. Fourth wicket down for 23. Chamika bangs it short. And some aggression there. Some reverse aggression. Chamika. That's the typical fast bowler's aggression, isn't it? No bowler likes the kind of shot that was played. You know, it was cross batted. And definitely a fast bowler putting in all his effort wouldn't definitely appreciate it. So, uh, quite a natural and an obvious reaction that we have seen most fast bowlers do over the years. And those are two areas, definitely, they have to go to the drawing board. Slow one, picked up well, and that will go and teasingly meet the boundary. That's a four. A much needed. Stepping down, up in the air. And despite that valiant effort, the ball will meet the boundary for a four. At all. But this is what we wanted. This is what he wanted to hit, and he's cleared the fence by a mile. A maximum coming in from the will of Ayan. He you didn't know, have to step out, stood there and delivered. Maximum. The moment he gave a little bit of an air, he lashed onto the opportunity for a glorious six. That's a close call. That's a very close call. Uh, probably a slight gentle appeal for uh, stumping. That huge heave will find the fielder. Yes, catching has been excellent today from Sri Lanka and I, I think that's the difference between the two sides for now. For that shot, he had to hardly move. He was just positioned for that. And uh, a simple catch. Unfortunately, for Ayan, he has to head back to the pavilion. Just after the break, losing his cool and giving away his wicket. About changing rules of what you would want to see. Oh, he's gone through with a glorious shot. And the commentary box is the best seat in the house to view the ball trickle away for four. Absolutely. First time the ball has come to our side. And what a majestic shot. This is exactly what we need. Can they handle 16 per over on a regular basis for four overs? That's from the sweetest spot of the bat. That's exactly what we need. Brilliant shot for six. This is exactly what we need and what we were saying that, you know. Top order not firing has been a common sight. We'll start with a boundary. Much needed boundary. Shot on the leg. Beautifully pulled for four. 
the best bowler has been belted for a boundary first ball how good a pick up shot is that what a lovely shot is nadeem going to be shanaka well this is cheesy this is cheeky four runs and the lights come on as well as this is probably the right time for the lights to come on because sandeep is really lighting fire oh, gone there was something as it went past yet another batsman who is nicked it straight to the keeper you know the problem with the shot was he was not sure you know he was in two minds first he thought i'll go for a pull then he backed off and then at the last minute probably just faintly you know edged the uh, edged the ball to the wicket keeper very unfortunate six wicket gone 87 for six chandimal has been doing this day in and day out he's received three catches towards the last man to go 17 of 13 not good enough on the occasion Six wicket gone for 87. Think query for a calm cam next time. <laughs> That's gone only high, begging to be taken. Lot of distance had to be covered for long off. Really feel the game's quickly slipping away from Uman. There's got to be a big, big over. Well, that can be a start. That could be the first of many more to come from Nasim. A boundary there. 69 of 25. Mathematically possible. they'll have to do a lot more of these on the right side of the fielder there the backward square they're going for the single direct hit and when it's a direct hit there are all chances for the umpire to raise his finger but not at this time umpire rahul asher is running towards the stumps he needs to fix this so that the game can continue was a star his brother is also the number one badminton player Oh, that's gone many a mile. This is the hit that Nasim was looking for. Okay, invitation accepted. Says Nadeem. Don't provide me pace. The part six. That's on Shanaka. Welcome to bowling. Nice and low. Gets it from the middle of the bat. That's drawn wings as it goes. Six all the way. The maximums flowing in. The fifteenth six of uh, the match. And mind you, this is just begun. They're spotting the ball really well. That's the first. It's got height, no distance. Will land safely. No, the fielder does get to it, but doesn't cling on. These are difficult ones. These are absolutely difficult ones. They go sailing up in the in the sky. It almost feels like that you've got Nasim Khushi take a bow. There's one thing called style and you are the synonym. You won't know that it's been hit, but it will prick when it matters the most. He's generated the edge Lahiru. And this time getting that faint outside edge into the gloves of the wicket keeper nadeem will walk back kaleem comes in he bowled it into his body and got punished maximum coming in chamika did well in the first couple of deliveries keeping it away from the arc of nasim right now into the body and take that maximum he's got to do this four more times can he do that 23 of 4 Yes cricket's become the ice breaker doesn't it Again a slow one wide outside the off stump and he's heaved it towards the cow corner They won't go for that run he wants to take that last ball Again a wide slowish delivery and a wicket that is it So Nasim will have to walk back as a last wicket that fell on the very last delivery of this game and oman concedes this game to a well performing sri lanka thoroughly professional from sri lanka on the field they looked at 160 odd and said we'll make it look like 180 tight bowling wickets at the right time never let oman get going and in the end comfortably finish with Oman 20 odd away from victory gave it all but didn't get the result that he wanted nasim no elevation and easy catch 
those fist bumps, those handshakes after the game. A hard-fought game, not an inch given. But then you shake hands and say, thank you very much. Very well played. It was lovely meeting you on the cricket field. Kashya Prajapati went early today. Oman's batting display wasn't something to be very proud of. The engine room did not fire, but Jatinder Akibili is falling early too. Zishan Maksud in single digit. Mohammad Nadeem and Naseem trying to provide the big knock at the end. Wasn't to be. Ayang Khan hung around and Sandeep God was promising. But someone had to continue playing that big innings, either Ayan or Sandeep. Neither of them did, and that's been the problem. Too much to ask from Kalimullah, who walked in late. As far as the bowling is concerned, look at those numbers. Those are mighty impressive. No deep. Two over seven runs, two wickets, and then he was taken off the field because of his uh, hamstring. Lahiru Kumara, four overs, 30, picked up four wickets. Four wickets in a T20 game. It's almost like a century that you've scored. An economy of 7.5, he would not be too happy about, but I'm saying... At four wickets, well, he's done his bit. Mahesh Tikhasana, four overs, 20. Chamika Karunaratne, four overs, 28, and picked up two wickets. Tasun Shanaka, he was taken for runs, four overs, 41. And Akhila Dhananjay, two overs, 16. Mind you, extras, 11. That is not something that uh, the bowling coach would be too happy about. Third man of final, still they wanted to go for that shot. That's the upshot of the game. 162 for Sri Lanka. A brilliant fight back to get to 162 in the end. And Oman falling short by 19 runs. Despite Naseem's 40 of 22. And a glimmer of hope from Mohammad Nadeem. But not good on the occasion.